We are here at Ubaline Tower atop Avon Mountain in Talcott Mountain State Park and we are going to be taking a tour inside as we walk down this path. From the outside though, let me just tell you a little bit, up there where you see the windows near the top of the tower, they surround the tower on all four sides and from the top you can see four states, obviously Connecticut, due north Massachusetts and Vermont, and due west New York. Uh, Gilbert Ubeline built this tower in the early 1900s as a gift to his wife who are hiking up here in this mountain range and they built it to look like a Bavarian castle. So I'm going to show you right through there where you see those arched windows. That is a sitting porch. Behind it is Gilbert's bedroom. Coming down a little lower to that first floor, that is the dining room. We are now going to go inside and take a look inside the tower to see how the Gilberts lived here for their summer retreat. We're here now at the front entrance into Ubeline Tower. The blue flag you see waving back there is the Connecticut State flag. And this is a stone path to come up into the tower. So we will be walking through that door and we will be stopping in the room there that you see behind that stone wall. We are now in the foyer. We had this beautiful field stone fireplace. It's a memorabilia on the mountain that is reminiscent of Germany. Both Gilbert Ubeline and his wife Louise were both from German descent. I am going to pan around here and show you the very famous Eisenhower chair. A long time after the Ubelines lived here, this castle was taken over by our state newspaper and it was used for entertainment. And it was sitting in that chair where Eisenhower was asked to run as the President of the United States. So that is, of course, a very famous chair. He sat in that chair and he said yes. In this showcase, we have some photographs of the Ubeline family. And I'll start here with Andrew Ubeline, the father of Gilbert Ubeline, who built this castle that we're looking at. Next, I am going to be showing you his wife, Louise. And it was for Louise that Gilbert built this castle. We continue on the first floor and here we are looking at the Ubeline family dining room that was built around 1914 when the construction of this tower first began. It did take three years to build the tower and to build this summer home for the Ubelines. And I am going to show you around this beautiful room here. You can see some of the windows in the fall. The foliage here is exquisite and you get some beautiful views. There is another oil painting portrait of Gilbert Ubeline there on the wall. And again, we have those beautiful picture windows. It is summer now, of course, so uh, it is a, the foliage outside is now, of course, green. <laughs> okay, let me show you that fireplace one more time, and we're going to walk up to the first floor of the tower. We are looking now at what is considered a sleeping porch. And from this porch, it is enclosed, but you would get beautiful views outside these windows. Right beyond this sleeping porch, we will see Gilbert's bedroom. So we are heading in that direction right now. So we're now looking at Gilbert's bedroom, and I want to focus on those incredible bay windows. 
with that rocking chair and Gilbert would love to sit on that chair and just look out those windows at the beautiful Connecticut scenery. The leather travel case that you see there on the floor is an original and has Gilbert Ubeline's monograms still in that chest today. I'll show you a little bit more of his bedroom before we proceed across the hallway and take a look at the next bedroom. We are now in Louise Gilbert's bedroom that was recently restored thanks to the friends of Ubeline Tower. So had you been here last year, this room would have been under restoration and now it has been fully restored. And like many of the rooms in the tower, we have these beautiful windows. In this case, we have a very high window, beautiful views. That window is facing out to the west, to New York State. As you walk up the staircase here in Ubeline Tower, and walking up the staircase is very reminiscent of walking up a staircase in a lighthouse um, because the tower is quite narrow. But what we're looking at now is a restoration illustration of what Ubeline Tower foyer looked like at about 1920s. So I'm going to try to come up here and show you a few details.